Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be playing with some new Australian drugstore makeup and just having a little chit chat. I have a bunch of products here from Essence today. I also have the new Astralis Glamour eyeshadow palette. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up while you're watching and let's just get into it. All right, I'm going to start off with a bit of color correcting using my usual things. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer, and then I'm going to use this Rimmel Insta Conceal and Correct Palette here. I'm going to use the peach shade for under my eyes and the green for these big blemishes right here. This is a good angle, isn't it? Oh my god. For foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. I did just upload a full review on this, so go check that out if you're interested. The color is a little bit too dark, so I do have to mix it with my Astralis Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops. I just put a little bit of that in. It's really weird because this foundation shade is 110 porcelain and in the Maybelline Fit Me range they also have 110 porcelain which is a really great match and they don't they don't match up in their shades which is strange. I did get a comment though saying in the UK they do have lighter shades available which is pretty good and the US range is also a little bit bigger so I'm assuming they have lighter shades as well. So yesterday it was three months until I get married. <laughs> Can you believe it? Time has absolutely been flying by. I feel pretty under control with everything. I'm just feeling quite overwhelmed. Like there's still a lot to do. Like I've booked all the major things. Now it's just like making those smaller decisions and all the fine details. And when you break it down, there's a lot to do. So I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with that at the moment and just regular life. And so I really just needed a day of doing nothing, like no to-do lists, stress-free, just absolutely taking a day for myself. So I barely got out of bed yesterday and I watched Shameless all day from like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I watched Shameless. And then in the afternoon, Clinton and I went out to the beach and just had a drink because it was an exciting day, only three months to go. After I apply the foundation with the brush, I like to go in with my sponge and just apply a little bit more in certain areas and smooth over everything. I'm just not feeling my hair today, hey? I'm trying to like, Put it in a nice messy bun, but we all know a nice messy bun is really hard to do. So look, that'll do donkey. Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> For concealer, I have the Essence Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer, and this is in the shade 10 Light Rose, and it says here it's waterproof and tattoo covering. Mmm. <laughs> So ultra covering liquid concealer with a matte finish, covers instantly dark circles, blemishes and tattoos, long lasting waterproof. Okay, the shade looks really light. I did have a, yes, this concealer here. So this is the Essence Camouflage Concealer as well. So I'm not too sure what the difference between them is. This is Camouflage Plus, so I'm guessing it has more coverage. I'll have to put that to the test. But let's see how this one goes. Okay, the shade looks nice. It's not too thick of a consistency, so we'll see. Hmm, that's actually quite nice. It says it's matte, but it's leaving quite a nice natural looking finish. It's not too drying at all. I'm going to go in with just a little bit more right in this area where I have a little bit of darkness. 
Wow, that's really nice. And it's blended beautifully over the top of my foundation. It's not picking it up at all and it's not clinging. It has settled into one of my bigger fine lines, but that's quite normal for me. Okay, so the coverage is nice. It's definitely not my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer by any means. I don't think it would cover a tattoo, but it's leaving a nice finish. I do need to just blend out the settling before I put my powder on. I don't have any new powders, so I'm just using my favorite models prefer. So yeah, with all this wedding planning, you may have noticed I've been quite slack on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I only uploaded four videos in January, which is quite slack of me, but I just, can't find the time to edit them. So over the last couple of months when it comes to wedding planning, I have set aside one night a week to do it. And that was more than enough then when I was looking for vendors and stuff. But now that I have a lot more decisions to make, I feel like I need to set aside a second night of the week. And I need to set aside times because it just works better for me. So that takes away a few hours where I would be editing. Okay, that concealer has taken a turn <laughs> under my eyes. <gasps> oh my God, they look so disgusting. Look at that. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Oh my god, I look like a thousand years old. So anyway, moving on to a product that I have been using and I am loving from Essence is the Contouring Duo Palette. And this is in the shade 10 Lighter Skin. <laughs> now, as soon as I saw this in store, I was like, okay, those shades are made for me. This color here is so cool toned. It is perfect for contouring on fair skin because you want that cooler undertone. And then this shade here, as you can see, it is super, super fair, but if you kind of mix them together, it just works. So I'm going to go in with an angled brush. This one is by Designer Brands. Lightly dip into that darker shade. And then I'm going in with the lighter shade and I'm going to kind of blend that on top to get more of a bronze color everywhere. I don't have a new blush, so I'm just going in with my Savvy Cheek and Lip Color, which I, look at that. Damn, I really love this. So as I was saying, I haven't been uploading much, so please forgive me for that. I'm sure you can all understand. My Hens Night is also coming up in three weeks. Three weeks, people. Now, my bridesmaids have planned everything. I don't know what's happening. I don't know the plan. I know we're going on a boat and that's about it. So <laughs> I've been told what outfits I need to bring and it's all gonna be a surprise. I am so excited. I know the girls would have put in so, so much effort to make this so amazing. I'm very, very lucky. I do want to vlog it as well. My friend has given me her little like point and shoot camera so I can get to know it a bit. And hopefully we can do some vlogging and I can share it all with you. <laughs> I'm nervous though, cause it's like, we can be a bit crazy. It's a little bit crazy, you know? By the way, the brush I used for my blush is the Kmart 005 buffing brush. It is so beautiful for cream products. So if that's your style, I definitely recommend picking up this brush because it applies the blush so beautifully. And if you have a cream bronzer as well, it would just, mm, it's beautiful and it doesn't lift up any of the product underneath because as you saw, I applied powder, then a cream and it just applies flawlessly. So can recommend this one. For highlighter, I have another product here by Essence and this is just called The Highlighter and it's in the shade 20 Hypnotic. This says it's a silky smooth powder highlighter to illuminate your complexion. It's buildable 
and lasts all day. Now I have been testing this out a bit. The color is really beautiful. It's like a nice pale gold, which I think works really well for fair skin. I don't think it lasts all day though, like it claims. I do like to apply it with more of a dense brush. So I need my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush. And as you can see, it's quite small compared to a fan brush, but it's nice and dense. So look at that, like it looks beautiful on. It gives a really nice glow and it doesn't accentuate the texture. It's just the lasting power that I'm still trying to figure out. For my brows, I have the Maybelline Brow Satin. And on one side, it has a pencil. And the other side is like a spongy powder applicator. Very interesting. So it says here that you define with the pencil and then fill in with the powder. Now I have the shade Dark Blonde, which I think might be a little bit dark for me, but my eyebrows, my eyebrows, and that come out real bogan. My eyebrows are quite dark at the moment because I tinted them. So it could work, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I've drawn the outline. Let me zoom you in a bit, even though I don't want you to see these crusty under eyes. <laughs> so I've drawn the outline and I'm going to take the powder to fill in those blank areas here. Let's see how it works. I'm just gonna brush my hairs down so I can get right in there. Let's try the front of the brow here. Okay, so I like the powder end for the front of my brow because it leaves a nice soft kind of ombre effect. The end of my brows, I don't know, I think I'd just rather fill it in with the pencil because it's quite light and I wanna make it darker. And at the tail of your brow, I feel like, well for me anyway, I'm trying to you know, stick within the lines and I want it to be neat. Whereas I feel like the powder side, it kind of comes out of the lines a bit. The color's actually quite nice too. It's not as dark as I thought. Hmm, not bad. Okay, onto the eyes. I have the Astralis Glamour Eyeshadow Palette. Astralis has been releasing a lot of new eyeshadow palettes lately. I haven't really kept up, but I went into a price line the other day and this one I thought would just be such a perfect neutral palette. Like it has so many beautiful shades. And if you're the kind of person that doesn't really like to go crazy with color, you just like your browns, I think this palette will be perfect for you because it has that range of light to dark shades with some really beautiful shimmers. So I'm going to prime my eyelids with my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer because it's my favorite. All right, these are swatches of all the shimmers in the palette. Very neutral, I love it. Okay, so I'm not going to set my base today. I'm gonna pat it out, make sure there's no creases. And I think I'm going to go in with this neutral shade. I might deepen it up with this one and then put a shimmer in there somewhere. I don't wanna to go too dark today because I wanna show you the I don't know, kind of basicness of this palette. So I'm gonna stamp this light color into my crease. Whenever I don't set my concealer, I always like to stamp the color on first before I go in and blend it out. Just on that same fluffy brush that I used, I'm going to take this lighter shade here just to make sure that pink is really blended out. So I'm going to place that above the shade up into my brow. 
And now I'm going to deepen up this shade with the darker dusty pink here. And then I'm going to go in with this shimmer here and place it all over the lid. I'm going to use those same two dusty pink shades under the lower lash line and then I'll probably go in with something a little deeper as well. Maybe this brown because I do like it when my lower lash line is a bit darker. So let's do that. I'm also going to take this dark brown here and press it into my lash line up the top, kind of like an eyeliner. Okay, so my eyeshadow is done and I am loving these shades together. As I said, it's just a nice simple eye look, but you can definitely snazz it up if you put on a pair of like big lashes or something. For my lashes, I actually have a new mascara. This is by Maybelline. It's the Falsies Lash Lift. So the brush kind of looks like the Too Faced Better Than Sex, how it's got that hourglass shape. I'm excited to use this. Maybelline mascaras are usually pretty damn good. <laughs> Loving it so far. First of all, the perfect amount of product comes out. I hate when you pull the mascara out and it's like clump city. I'm like, man, how am I meant to apply this? So that was a really nice amount of product. It's giving my lashes a lot of nice separation and length. Okay, so this is one layer and that's two layers. So there's quite a big difference there. So let's put some more on. And then lastly for lipstick, I have two here by Essence. I went a little bit crazy at the Essence stand, but these are there. Mm. They just have like plain white packaging, but they have like a nude collection. So the first shade is 01, this is me. Mm, that's my kind of nude. And then this is the shade. Oh no, hang on. Okay, hold up. The collection is called This Is Me. This shade here is 01 Freaky. And this shade here is 03 Bold. Wow, I think I'm going to go in with the shade Bold today. Okay, this formula is absolutely beautiful. It feels so comfortable. It has a satin matte finish and it is just so opaque. Like one swipe and you've got so much color. All right guys, well this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching today. If I had to pick my favorite products, it would definitely be the lipsticks the contouring palette and I really enjoyed the mascara so I will leave some updates in the description box below on how the highlighter wore and also the concealer because that was not pretty so I will try it again you know you always got to give it a second chance if you enjoyed today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more Australian drugstore related tutorials then I have a few other videos that I will link down below if you're not already, come and follow me over on Instagram. Thank you all so much for your support on my channel. I really appreciate it, especially during this time where I'm not uploading as much. But I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.